Hi friends, in my previous video, I have explained how to capture VM image and how to generate a new VM from that particular image. So the main advantage with this imaging concept is like to replicate the number of servers with the same image type. For example, if you have some pre-installed softwares and uh, pre-installed files need to be copied to that particular OS, then you can make first image from the original VM and then you can use that particular managed image and generate uh, hundreds of VM instances as per your requirement. Now in this session, I'm going to show you how to utilize the shared image library. So one year back while I was working for one of the project to create the number of uh, VM instances of the same type, I faced this problem. In that particular instance, I had to create five different VMs in five different regions. In overall 25 VM instances I had to create but of the same type across all the regions. So what I did for that particular case is I created VM in each and every region and I installed the softwares required in each and every region of that particular VM instance also configured the required files in those particular instances. Then from that particular virtual mission, we pick the image for separately in the five different regions. Like we had to spend plenty of time for that to replicate the same image or same VM instance uh, in the different regions. Though there is a amazing concept, but it was restricted to only for that particular region and there was no way to copy that particular VM image to to the different regions. That was a big challenging job and we had to do that again the whenever the new requirement came to the different regions, we had to again create new instance in that particular region and we added that uh, images and then added more instances to that particular region as well. It is like plenty of uh, steps we need to take care here. So shared image library will really help you a lot to solve this particular problem. So let us have a look on that shared image gallery overview so now by using image gallery you will be able to maintain the number of versions of the image now say today i have 1.0 version tomorrow i'm going to take one more snapshot of that particular image then i will have 1.0.1 .1. so you will be able to even manage the versions and accordingly you can distribute to them different locations for example in region asia region i'm going to have 1.0 whereas in us i want to install the 2.0 with advanced softwares or different uh, software configurations so i i will be able to do that by using this versioning concept at the same time i'll be able to distribute all these images to different regions you can see what are the regions uh, it is supporting source regions so you can see here shared image version replica count is equal to 5 you will be able to create all, all the number of instances from the image and you can do that any number of copies in all the regions where it is required and the job is really simplified compared to the effort we have invested for this type of task one year back so, so let us understand more by creating it so I'm going back to my portal, Azure portal, and uh, let us go to my image. So my image, create resource. So I'm going to the compute, virtual machine. I just want to show you how it works before getting into the image library. So now, my pre my managed image is here just go to the browse all public and private uh, images so here you can see it my image is here so as soon as i select you can check my region is locked i can't select any other region to create the avm instance of this particular image right so here you can see south central us because my image was also created out of uh, central us but now I want to create in the different region. What is the solution for this problem? Definitely shared image library is a solution. So let me go to the shared image galleries here. Just create one shared image gallery. 
first let us create that shield image gallery for demo so i'm just going to use So you can select any region that's not a problem so you can give a description of that for distributing my vm images across all the global it okay so let us just jump to the next tags you can name it anything here I just give uh, some tag there. Next, review and create. There is a shield. It's already created, no problem. So, it, the creation process is going to be started now the validation is passed and created so you can see it here the deployment is started it will take uh, approximately, uh, approximately one minute let us just wait for it. so your deployment is complete now just go to the resource so now add image definition so let us start now adding a new image definition to the shared uh, image gallery. You don't need to select subscription as it is already selected in the shared image library. So let us just select the region. It's fine. Let, let us keep uh, South Central US and image definition name. You can give uh, a, any name for this image in shared image library gallery. So you can select Windows or Linux or Gen 1, Gen 2, all these options. Now I'm going to uh, create a publisher name as Global IT Team and offer pre-installed softwares. And SKU, you can just add something. So next, go to the version. So release. As I earlier mentioned, you, you will be able to even um, manage the versioning. Like when you are releasing the next uh, updated version or next snapshot version, then you can uh, make it as 2.0 or something like that. So location, you can keep it uh, look, uh, US uh, Central US. So image. This is the image we created earlier in the previous uh, video. So the same image I'm going to utilize and exclude from later that's fine uh, image version and live data so you can enter some date when it is going to be expired so i'm giving 30th may as a end of the date and the default replica count so you can you can give a default replica count uh, uh, to the it guy who is going to create so this this will be going to be the 10 as a default replica count for the a new virtual image instances creation so now you can add anyway by default you will be able to create your vm instances in south central us because you have your image is already located in that but you are going to additionally add few more locations and the target uh, region replica count maybe we can give two and you can also specify what is the storage account type. I'm just specifying uh, standard HDD. And uh, I'm going to select Southeast Asia. So there are two locations I selected, East US and Southeast Asia. So let us go with the next publishing options. So this is more similar to your product release. You are also uh, releasing your uh, image version similarly however you do it the product right so when you are releasing the product you will add eula end user license agreement and the description and what is the release notes all those details similarly you can also uh, release all those details for this image so that uh, whoever is going to utilize this particular image copy 
will read all your license agreements and what is the release notes and what are the things need to be taken care right so that's why you can add all this but for now i'm ignoring it you can also recommend uh, oh, how many vcps can be taken for this particular instances i'm just recommending between uh, 5 to 28 and you can also recommend your vm memory so excluded disk types you can exclude like i don't want to oh, i don't want to recommend standard uh, oh, sorry premium uh, ssd so i mean uh, excluding that so image definition end of file date so this particular image uh, definition will end by may 14th so after filling all the details coming to the replicas i'm just giving a tag name nothing more like to easily identify in your invoices and in other places with the tags next go ahead with the validation now it is being validated once the validation is passed you can start creating it so it's already started of initializing the deployment it takes approximately one to two minutes to create to add this particular image definition to the shared image gallery let us just wait until that so now you can see your deployment is underway i will wait for two minutes and uh, resume the video so after a couple of minutes uh, my image uh, is added to the image gallery so i'm under the shared image uh, gallery for demo under that this is the one I added as a definition. You can just simply click on it. So you can see the pre-installed softwares, global IT team. All those details are created here. So now you can go ahead and uh, try creating the virtual mission. So let me try virtual mission. So add new virtual mission. So if you remember when I selected uh, my private image which was located in central US it was locked to the central US only right so I'm just selecting the old image which I created under the central US you can see that it is locked now I'll change the image type to my shared image shared images so you can check it, all these images under the my items my images is like which you just normally capture the image and kept it but shared images are like which you are sharing to all the regions so another shared images you can select uh, the one which we created just now now you can see it's not locked all the locations are open you can select uh, east to us and then you can start creating it all the uh, vms required so this is how you can utilize shared image library uh, to create the image from the existing one so in next one i'll cover how to do this from the command lines thanks for watching my video